All right, uh, drafting class, uh, welcome to my lair. Today uh, we're going to go over how to use Onshape to create a mug. Now, uh, because of the day, I was sitting here trying to think, okay, how do I want, which mug do I want to model? It's cold outside, it's snowing, we are in uh, Snowpocalypse 2022 here, so so I need a mug to drink my hot chocolate in, so we're going to model uh, that. So, and I was trying to decide between my uh, Star Wars coffee mug or uh, the Snowman coffee mug, but either one. Uh, I think I'll go ahead today with the snowman. I'll probably come back a little bit just to do the snowman mug as well, because as you look at both of these, if you think about them, uh, they're both different shapes. So this one here, of course, has a taper on it with my snowman mug. The Star Wars is just your typical coffee or mug as well. Uh, both of these would be modeled a little bit differently. So, so if I feel ambitious, I might go ahead and model both of them for you now. My suggestion to you is you guys go into your uh, cupboard and get out um, whatever coffee mug or a hot chocolate mug that you like and use that as uh, your model to start to create from. Uh, I've got just a regular uh, wooden ruler here uh, so we can kind of get this started. So so we're in on shape. You have the ability to use on shape uh, through um, the cloud so it's great for when we are doing this type of remote learning so i'm going to go right up here and we will create a new document in on shape i know it's been a while since we uh were in here so you might have to uh, uh might have forgotten how to use it so that'll be good so i'm going to uh save this as mug for right now i'll just save this as my mug it opens up the screen and as I think about this, the first thing, of course, just like an inventor, we got to select the drawing plane. Uh, I got to consider the basic shape here, um, which so I'm going to start out with a circle and then I'm just going to extrude that circle up to give us kind of a cylinder. So, so I'm going to select first the uh, top uh, viewing plane as far as my sketch. So I'm going to create a new sketch on that top plane. So I'll go ahead and navigate and use my view cube here to navigate so i'm looking directly at it we call that uh, uh, uh viewing orthogonally here is my circle creation tool so i'm going to click right here on the origin point and open it up now take your ruler at this point and measure uh, in my case this measures to three and one eighth inch diameter so I could kind of try to get it up here, and I don't really need to be that concerned with it. So I'm just going to left click. Uh, that opens up, and I can manually key in 3.125 uh, now, or you could key 3 plus 1 eighth um, as well. That's all I need. Let's go ahead and uh, click the green check mark box. That's a left click on that. And I'm going to go into my isometric view just so I can see how this reacts when I go to extrude it. So over here on the uh, left upper, uh, our toolbar is our extrude feature. So I'm going to click left click on that, and then I'm going to click that shape. Now, uh, notice it's going the right way. Now I can change this and go either way, whether I want to come up or go down. In this case, I want to go ahead and have it coming up out of the screen. And now I got to set my depth. So I'm going to again take and measure that so and in my case uh, my mug measures three and three quarter inches tall so i'm going to go 3.75 for three and three quarter inches and that's all i need with that okay. now this is just a cylinder so in order to make it a mug we got to kind of bring in and get this uh, hollowed out so so i'm going to sketch now on this plane so i'll come back into my top view so i can see this and we'll go back in we'll draw another circle on it i'm going to take that measurement so see what that is and in this case we're two and seven eight so now so let me go ahead and place this and then two plus seven eighths enter so that uh, gives me 2.875 that's that feature let's go back to the isometric view and I'm now going to extrude this. So pick up the inside shape. So notice it's coming out. So we want to go the opposite direction and go into it. And in this case, I'm going down three and three eighths. So I'll 
set my distance here of 3.375. If you don't know what the fraction is, uh, just go 3 plus and enter the fraction. So either way. And instead of us adding material here, uh, we're actually going to be removing that material. So we need to click on remove. And there we go. So now we've got kind of the basic shape of the uh, mug here. We still have to use and model the handle. Now I'm not going to be too concerned with the handle. I just want to kind of give this a, a general overall appearance here. So, uh, But I'm going to accomplish this by drawing on a different plane and then uh, extruding it symmetrically. So let's go ahead and uh, create a new sketch. I'm going to use the front plane here. And I'm going to use my view cube to navigate over into the front view. And then uh, on all of our tools up here, if you think we've got this arc creation tool, and if I wanted to be very, very precise, I could do a three point arc. Uh, I'm not too concerned with it at this point. Uh, so I'm going to do, and I'm going to use this conic tool just for something uh, to do. So we'll come in here and while I could pick up on the edge, I want this to go into the part just a little bit. So, so I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to stay away. I'm not too concerned right now with uh, dimensions. I just want to kind of get a rough model of it. So, and I place it there. So I left clicked up top and I left clicked down below. Now I'm moving this out. So, um, so get that shape and I can kind of put that up here right like that. Place that. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do one more here. So we're going to kind of go up here and down a little bit lower. And we'll go out uh, just a little bit more right here like this to place both of those in there. Now, I've got to have a closed feature in order to be able to extrude it. Right now, these are just two um, curves. Uh, they're not really connected, so I'm going to use my line creation tool, and I'm going to connect these endpoints on both of these. There you go. And that sketch is finished, so go ahead and click on uh, finish the sketch. Let's go back to my uh, isometric view, and now I'm ready to extrude this part. So let's go ahead and use my extrude tool. I'm going to click on the feature that I want, in this case, which is this handle. And notice it's coming out, but we don't want it to be that way. We want it to be symmetrical. So, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to place a check mark here by the symmetric uh, just to make it going on both sides of that plane. And we got to change that depth because my handle isn't one inch thick. So let's take a look here, take a quick measurement using my uh, ruler. And this is five eighths uh, of an inch. So I'm going to go five divided by eight for five eighths for that fraction. And we'll hit enter. That gives me uh, my extrusion. Click left click on the check mark, and I've got that. So, so we're good to go here now on this plug. We're almost quite complete, but uh, we want to do a few more things before we do. So let's kind of pivot this around just to kind of see where we're at and how it's looking. So I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, so let's go ahead then and uh, in the process here, I want to soften up these uh, angles, and I also want to soften up the handle. So we're going to add a radius or a fillet to these. Now, this is 100,000, so let's put one here, one here. I'm going to go on the inside here, and I'm going to come over here and also add one on the inside here. Now, I'm not so sure. I think I want that to be a little bit bigger than a hundred thousandths. So I'm going to make that uh, point. Um, let's make that point two. We'll make it a pretty decent size one. And I'll click the green check mark, and I've got a nice uh, fillet on that handle to make that nice and smoother and softer. So there we go. And I'm going to do the same thing. Let's come back to my isometric view. I'm going to do the same thing up here on these two corners here. So. But you don't want any sharp uh, sharp corners on your mug uh, as well. So create that fillet too. Now this fillet's going to have to be smaller because I'm not quite as uh, big there. So let's change this to, oh, let's say 0 0.05, uh, 50 thousandths on that side. And we'll do the same thing on that side uh, so that we've got both of those in there. Click the check mark. And now I've got that nice kind of rounded top. Uh, of that. 
So, and that's my basic mug. So I can come up here and un put a check mark on the eyes for each of these planes so that it doesn't show up. That way it gives me clearer view. Uh, if you want to make some coloration to the uh, mug, so uh, we can come right over here to the appearance panel. So, and we can, uh, once that comes up, we can kind of pop here to add a face appearance. So get some colors in here and uh, it's a uh, snow day. So we'll just go ahead and select white. So and apply that around on everything here. So notice you can change this color to whatever you want. In this case, I'm just going to make this a white mug for right now. Click there. We can go ahead and move this back so we don't need that anymore. So if you just kind of re-click and move that back over there and you'll be good to go. And now we've got our white snowflake type mug uh, ready to go and ready to add our hot chocolate in once we get that. So, so I'm going to save this. We've got it saved here. I'll just go right back to the main menu here. So we've got our mug. It's good to go. and We're all saved. Uh, so I'll let you guys get that taken care of. And then I'll make another video to show how we're going to put the hot chocolate in it. And, of course, we want to add some marshmallows to this here before the end of the day, too.